Hi everybody and welcome to video number 18 of the AdWords Editor video training course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. In our example, we're continuing with our plastic surgery rhinoplasty paid search example. So in this example, when I was going through the keyword list that I originally had in AdWords Editor, I found some more keywords that were not relevant. And those types of themes or topics are keywords that contain things like non-surgical, non-surgery. Um, I wanted to exclude those from that keyword list. I also found celebrity related keywords and a lot of specific celebrity like Angelina Jolie, uh, Jennifer Aniston nose job, that kind of thing. So I want to exclude those types of queries. I also found a lot of pictures, photos, um, before and after type photo queries and I wanted to remove those as well. So what you see here is the result of me using Keyword Classifier to go through my keyword list and identify keywords that I know are not relevant to a rhinoplasty paid search campaign that's going to generate conversions. That's the key focus. We're trying to generate conversions, not traffic. So to do that, we're going to bid on highly relevant words like cost, price, surgeon, surgery, office, you know, that kind of thing. So the nice thing about using Keyword Classifier is you can copy these keywords that you've identified as irrelevant, take them, go into the program in AdWords Editor, go to this negatives section, just, I'll remove these here so you can see, make multiple changes. I'm going to add these to the campaign level. Hit preview. Make sure keyword is the column header. Hit process. And we just added negative keywords to this campaign. And you can see them here. And one more thing I like to do is negative phrase match them. That's my personal standard. I always negative phrase match everything. So now we have our negative keywords and we have our highly refined keyword list. The question about this video is how do we group them in a way that makes sense? There's no right or wrong way to group your keywords. There's plenty of different ways you could group these. The more groups you create, the harder it's going to be to manage. If you want something a little more manageable, create less or fewer groups. When I was going through the keyword list, I found themes like price, cost, cheap, affordable. We could group our keywords based on that. So if we go to advanced search, we could look for keywords contain the full word. I pasted those in and we can see 92 keywords. So I just hit control X, create an ad group. We could call this cost slash price. And if we go into this group, we just hit control V to paste our keywords. And these are people looking for prices of rhinoplasty, nose plastic surgery prices, how much does a nose job cost, those kind of search terms. So now we have the intent of these keywords. They're looking for costs. They want to know how much. And generally, people looking for costs want to get a quote or an estimate or a consultation from a surgeon. So these are keywords that would probably convert pretty well. We go back to our group, remove the filter. Another theme I found was ethnic, Korean, Asian, and black. These are nose job surgery type terms related to the ethnicity of the person. So if we want, we can create a group. Let's just call it ethnic for now. And if we wanted to get really specific, we could write an ad specific to Asian or black or ethnic or Korean nose jobs or rhinoplasty just to make our ad more specific, more relevant, and get a higher click-through rate. What we could also do is look for males, men, guys, those types of themes. These are people looking for nose jobs specific to gender. So we could just say men. And perhaps there's surgeons out there that 
specialize in male nose jobs. I'm not really sure. But that's how you kind of group your keywords. So we've ripped out all the ethnicity, all the gender, all the price slash cost. Now what we're left with, we could do surgeon. So we see these are all keywords that contain surgeon. We could create a group called surgeons. We could also, I noticed some polyp. So if we, since that's really specific, we could create a group called polyp. And we could create ads relevant to nasal polyp surgery if our given service provider does that type of surgery, obviously. I see deviated septum. So we could use advanced search again and type in deviated or septum. And we'll just do contains. And here we have 14 keywords regarding deviated septum. But you can kind of get the point here. I'm simply copying, cutting them out, pasting them into a new group, calling this group whatever the general theme is of these keywords. And I will just do this over and over again until I have all my keyword lists segmented in a way that I can write ads that speak to these keywords within these groups. So an alternative to doing this, because this does take a lot of time, is to use what I have made. It's called Keyword Density Grouper. Just do a Google search. You'll see it. It's an Excel document. So what I did is I went here, copied all the keywords, and then we're only looking for the keyword column. Copy that. Go to the Density tab. Paste it. Hit Find Density. And then you can see kind of what the main frequency keywords are within your keyword list. So this tool breaks down your keyword list into one word, two word, and three word phrases to give you an idea of maybe how to group your keywords or what to call them. So we have nose surgery, that, that frequency appears 79 times in this keyword list, nose job 75 times, and so on. Another method of grouping keywords is to use Keyword Grouper. This is also a program that I've built. It's much more advanced than you would find in the Keyword Density tool. And the way it works is you simply put your keyword list in here. You can remove any unwanted non-letter, non-number characters, hit next, and then generate common themes. This will generate the most common themes, the best way to group your keywords, hit next. You can get a preview of what's going to be grouped. Hit next. And all our keywords are grouped for us. So we just go to AdWords Editor, Keywords tab, make multiple changes, check this box. And 505 keywords were created within a group called Rhinoplasty Example. So we see cosmetic surgery, laser surgery, nasal surgery, nose job surgeons. The nice thing about the Keyword Grouper tool is that you can get as granular or as broad as you want. So if we wanted fewer ad groups, we just pump this up to 10, hit apply, generate common themes, and we can see fewer ad groups here. We hit next, we can preview the results, and then we hit next and it's done. So it's a really handy tool if you're trying to group your keywords without putting a lot of time and energy into it and the groupings are really relevant. And it's a cheap tool, it's only 29 bucks right now. So now, I'm just gonna use this example as our grouping method, but hopefully you know how to group your keywords by now, and you know the methods or mindset that I have when I'm grouping my keywords. So that's it. The next video is going to show us how to make the ads relevant to the groups. Once we're done with that, we're going to check the campaign settings and set up anything else we need to set up, and then we're ready to launch. So I'll see you in the next video.